This is one of multiple videos discussing new features in GNS3 2.2. In this video, I'm gonna discuss this feature, detect when a link is plugged, unplugged for QMU VMs. Basically, GNS3 can now show you the status of interfaces, whether they up or down. <laughs> QMU VMs will be informed when a link is plugged or unplugged or even when it's suspended. This should be really useful when testing redundancy scenarios, protocol convergence, and so forth. I think this is a fantastic feature. In the past, one of the reasons to use physical equipment was that physical equipment could detect when a cable was unplugged or plugged in. So you had proper notification of interface status. Virtual environments such as GNS3 didn't give us that, but now it does. That opens up many options with regards to testing, such as testing OSPF protocol convergence, or anything else that requires a iOS device, as an example, to know when an interface goes down. So rather than just talking about it, let's have a look at how it actually works. Okay, so in this example, I'm running two versions of GNS3. I've got version 2.1.15 running on my Mac. So these console interfaces are running on my Mac. And then I've got GNS3 version 2.2 beta 3 in this example running on a Windows computer. So you should be able to differentiate quite nicely between GNS3 version 2.1, which is once again running on my Mac, and GNS3 version 2.2. So as an example, this is the problem in the past. This is a router running once again in GNS3 version 2.1. Notice the router interfaces are all administratively shut. If I sh no shut gigabit 00, that interface should come up. And if I go on to another interface such as gigabit 01, so once again, interface gigabit 01, that interface shouldn't go up up because there's no cable connected. Let me show the interface labels to show you why. So gigabit 00 is connected to the switch, but gigabit 01 is not connected in this GNS3 topology. But show IP interface brief shows me that both those interfaces are up. So again, interface gigabit 02, no shut. Those interfaces are all shown up, up. And there you go once again. Interfaces are up, up. These two interfaces should actually be up, down. But GNS3 is not giving a link status information to the operating system, in this case, Cisco IOS V. So the router running this operating system says that the interfaces are up, up, even though they're not. Compare that, however, with GNS3 version 2.2. Same scenario, router, connected to a switch. Same operating systems. But in this case, notice if I go into gigabit 00 and no shut it, and then I'll do the same on gigabit 01. So it was a bit quick there, but notice gigabit 01 is no shut, gigabit 00 is no shut. Both interfaces are no shut. Show IP interface brief, however, shows us up, up, and down, down. There's no physical cable connected to gigabit 00, so interface is down, down in this example. Now on a Cisco router, you might actually see that as up, down, rather than down, down, but notice here we're seeing the interfaces as down, down. If I connect a cable to that router, and once again, I wanna put those interface numbers there, so gigabit 00, 00, so going back to the router, this interface should be up, up, which it is. This interface should be up, down, but it's showing down, down. But if I connect that interface from the router to the switch, notice the interface status changes to up, up. The router has visibility of interface states. Notice it's up, up, whereas before it was down. Now, once again, GNS3, version 2.1 doesn't do that. Interfaces are up, up, even though no cables are connected. On the switch, show IP interface brief 
Now the only interface that should be up, up is gigabit zero, zero. But notice all interfaces are up, up on the switch. Compare that to GNS3 version 2.2. Show IP interface brief. Notice interfaces are down, down because no cables are connected. These two interfaces are up, up, but the other interfaces are down, down. Now, if I compare that to a physical switch, so let's go to a 3750. And I'll log in here. Show IP interface brief. Notice interfaces are down, down because there's no cable connected to these interfaces. Other interfaces are shown as up, up. So show interface fast ethernet 106. Notice interface is down, down. Cable is not connected to this interface. If we look at the switch, show interface gigabit zero two. Notice we see just like a real switch that the interface is down, down. It's not connected just like it is on my 3750. So we're getting interface information in GNS3 just like we would on a physical device. So again, interfaces are showing up, up here. If I suspend a link, so the top link is gigabit zero one to gigabit zero one. If I suspend that, we should see a change on the switch, which we do. Notice interface has gone down. So show IP interface brief. Notice interface has gone down, down. And if we have a look on the router, interface has changed state to down. So show IP interface brief. Notice interface is down. This is a major improvement over previous versions of GNS3. Fantastic feature. What I'll do here is right click and resume that interface. So the interfaces should come up, up, which they do on the router and switch. So show IP interface brief, notice up, up. And on the router, show IP interface brief, notice up, up. Now, Jeremy and the GNS3 development team are continuing to release updated versions of GNS3. Since my recording, GNS3 version 2.2 beta 4 has been released. Jeremy and the developers are fixing issues in both the GUI and the server. So we expect things to be improved by the time the software is officially released as a public release. So rather than beta software, once this is released, hopefully they will have ironed out all the bugs in the software. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best. Yeah.